You know, my story started way back. You know, at the age of 14, growing up in a drug-infested community, I always told myself, June, you're not gonna be that person. You know, I'm never going to do that. Well, let's flash forward. It started out as a gram of cocaine to three ounces a day. I couldn't film, I couldn't function, I couldn't do anything. Damn. Right. You know, I got busted in Macon County, Alabama. But at that time, I kept using for another year. I didn't know what to do. And the house that I told my daughter that would always be hers, I sold it for $100,000. Guess what? Two months later, $100,000 was smoked up in cocaine. Um, I stayed in <laughs> hotels. I had my dope man stay in there. I ran out of money. Um, I started, like, hustling. I used to have jewelry all on my hands. It's the only ring I've got left bracelet that had every one of my daughter's birthstones on it and my grandkids um, was no longer. The kids still look at me as that drug addict. They look at me as I'm still a bad person. Have you had a moment with all of them where you just apologize for the past? It is hard for me to say I'm sorry sometimes. I'm mean, to be honest with you, like there for a while, I just thought that things would go back to normal, like when I got clean. You know, sometimes it's hard to say I'm wrong. Dealing with that raw emotion sometimes is hard for me to do. I am sorry for some of the actions that I made, but I do feel like sometimes the girls hold my past and what I've done and what, what I may be still doing in a way, they just, think that I'm supposed to be this perfect person and I'm not. You know, nobody's perfect.